continually ate him up. Oh, buddy. All right, guys, that was the buck I was looking for right there. That's the non-typical. Two or four does up here above me about 80 to 90 yards feeding in the white oak. I smoked him. He was 10 yards. He came right in. Let's see what's on the other side. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a shot at that buck from right here. God, stay alive, you just do. Damn. Damn. Hey everyone, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Dave Bunnell. And I'm Jim Davis. And up first this week, we're going to head to Jackson County with pro staffer Gary Shepard on a bow hunt. Okay, folks, sweet November has arrived. And it has arrived in style. I'll tell you, we've had a huge temperature drop. And uh, it's only 23 degrees this morning, so... I'm anxious to get out there. I got a blind brush in up here on a food plot. Had a shooter buck stroll through there yesterday about 10, 15. Been getting a lot of activity up there, it seems like uh, mid-morning, so that's where I think I need to be this morning. And we'll get all bundled up, slip up there and get settled in real quiet. And we'll just sit there and see what happens this morning. So stick with me. You're watching the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. six big old does come through here in the last 45 minutes I just haven't seen anything of a buck yet so I'm gonna try to stick it out about another half hour I gotta run home do a couple things maybe get a bite to eat <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave all my gear right here in the blind try to get right back up here as quick as I can because I think with all those does in the area something ought to show up this evening maybe so we'll see Okay, I made it back. Uh, set up here this morning to about 10.30 and I had to leave. I had a couple of things I had to do today. So I just left all my gear right here in the blind. I slipped out of here. Took care of some stuff. Got me a nice lunch. Got me a nice hot shower. And I'm back ready to go this evening. So I saw five or six really big mature does this morning right here. So, you know, there's got to be a buck cruising through here. Checking them does, I would think. So we're going to sit tight and see what happens. I got guy hopes for this evening. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. 
We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Are you a landowner that's ever thought about selling? Give me a call today and let me and my team show you why selling an auction is your best choice. With competitive bidding, your property will bring top dollar the day you choose to sell. At Joe R. Powell Auctions, we've seen record numbers of online bidders from all 50 states. Don't limit yourself to just the local market. Auction will give you the best results on your farm or any type of real estate you own. Call 855-JOE-WILL or visit JoeRPowellAuctions.com. RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. State Farm Agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. on the blind, my, I heard a whack, and I shot way to the left. Just just a classic gut shot looked at me like, dang, corn it. Oh, it makes me sick. I think I hit some of this netting that I've got on this blind. walking and I kept following him and I didn't realize I was getting into this netting I've got hanging on this blind and I heard it making an awful whack oh I hate that all right there ain't nothing I can do but just wait hopefully he won't go too far and he'll lay down and Funny late tonight or tomorrow morning. Oh, it makes me sick. Okay, well, it's about 5.30 uh, the next morning, and, uh, you know, I slept okay, I guess, but as soon as I opened my eyes, first thing I thought of was that deer, so went ahead and got up, and, uh, you know, just waiting a couple more hours till it gets good in daylight, and some of the frost uh, melts off, uh, you know, hope it never happens to you, but if it does, you just have to do your best to, you know, to get a, you know, happy ending to the story. So I'm just going to have to just take my time and go up there and uh, see what I can find. Maybe do some walking or, uh, but honestly, I don't think he probably went too far before he laid down. And I think once he laid down, he probably didn't, uh, you know, he probably not too far from right there where he made his first bed. So time will tell. I'm going to try to, you know, just try to make the best of it and see what happens today. 
Okay, well folks, I'm back, I guess you could say, to the scene of the crime, and uh, I'm by myself this morning, so I'm going to have to do the best can I can, you know, filming this recovery, but uh, I've already seen some hair right here where he was when I shot him, so hopefully I can find enough blood, you know, to, uh, to at least get a good direction on him, or, you know, hopefully I'll peek over the, down in this little holler, maybe you can just see him laying down there would be ideal, but we'll just have to take our time and see what happens. Thank you, Lord. He landed right there. I swear I didn't go. It's less than 100 yards from where I shot him. And uh, we did the right thing, you know, by backing out. He's uh, he's right there. I'm just so thankful that I found him, I tell you. I hate it, hate it, hate it that I, you know, made a bad shot or I don't know if it was, you know, I think I hit something, pretty sure I hit something on the blind and made my error, but whatever, it didn't hit him good. And uh, I just, you know, the older I get, it seems like the more I hate to think about an animal like that suffering, but uh, hopefully he didn't suffer long. You know, he didn't go far and he's laying right there and I'm so thankful to find him. So get down there and take a close look at him. Okay, well, here he is, you know, it, uh, Fortunately, had a really short track job. Uh, you know, I can almost see the edge of the food plot right there and uh, did the right thing by backing out and just leaving him alone, letting him letting him bed here. Looks hard to see one bed. Looks like he just come here and laid down and that's where he died. So hopefully he didn't suffer long. You know, I hate it when it happens this way, but sometimes it does. And you just have to make the best of it. So thrilled to get him, thrilled to know, you know, what happened to him and I hate to always hate to lose one and just always wonder but uh, and thankfully the coyotes didn't show up last night so appreciate you coming along with us on this hunt and thanks for watching the brothers of the woods outdoors man Dave that had to be frustrating for Gary caught something on the blind and hit that deer bad but I tell you the old adage stands when in doubt, back out, and that's the reason he recovered that buck. That's right. So this fall, if you make a bad shot, just wait till the following morning. Great chances you're going to find that deer. Hey, and up next, we're going to head out with junior pro staff member Kaylin Stacy, and she's going to take a great buck with her bow. But up first is this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip, we're going to head to the field with pro staff member Gary Shepard, and he's going to give us some tips on making your tree stand steps safer. Okay, folks. Well. Me and my uh, lovely little granddaughter, Kinsley, I've got a big tip for you today. It's pretty simple, pretty inexpensive, but it could make a lot of difference for you in the woods. Uh, what we've done, we've got a ladder stand here, and I've got several ladder stands out, but you know, you come up here on a cold, uh, a cold morning, and if it, there could be ice on those steps, or if it's just raining, it could be wet and slippery. Uh, and there's a real simple thing you can do to, to uh, you know, to kind of alleviate that uh, possibility of having an accident. I got some, uh, it's just called non-slip tape. I bought it on Amazon one inch is wide it's about 40 feet long and it's only less than 15 dollars it's got adhesive back it's made for outdoor use and we're going to cut strips today and put them on the top of each of these rungs on this uh, ladder stand and hopefully you know that'll make our grip a lot better when we go to climb up there and uh to hunt sometime so okay well me and kinsley got it all taken care of we got this tape put on all these rungs and i uh, tell you what it makes a big difference it's really Really got a good grip there now, and it seems like it's sticking very well. So tickled to death to do it for no more than it costs and no longer than it takes. Uh, I think it's a very good idea. So, okay, Kins, thanks for your help today. You're welcome. Okay, and you all be safe out there. Be safe. Now I'm Eli Gain, and that is your Joe R. Powell Auction Services Tip of the Week. It's time for West Virginia to power the nation again. We've got more energy than anywhere else in the world companies such as Nucor, Berkshire Hathaway, Commercial Metals, we swell with pride to know that those families will be supported with a great job that they can raise their family. You can't have growth without energy. Hope Gas is lighting the way forward for West Virginia. Learn more at wvisforhope.com. Do you want to grow bigger bucks and have a healthier deer herd? Hi, I'm Don Kaiser, owner of Grandpa's Special Mix 
high protein deer feed. After several years of field testing, we have developed a feed that is high in protein, minerals, and vitamins. You can check our products out on www.grandpa'smix.com or on Facebook at Grandpa's Special Mix Feed. If you're serious about growing big bucks, you need to give Grandpa's Special Mix a try. Hey guys, I'm Dylan with Johnson's Wildlife Taxidermy Studio. We're located in Grafton, West Virginia. I'd appreciate if you would consider us for all your taxidermy needs. Safe hunting and God bless. Hello, this is Tim Dell from Tri-County Worship Center and I have a verse of scripture found in the book of Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the God which, which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, for the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And it is our choice. Jesus chose us, but we need to choose him and serve the Lord. Closed captioning is brought to you by RDR Ready Mix Concrete. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. All right, guys. Dame Stacy here at it this morning. We are in the blind, we're tucked in, and uh, she passed three bucks yesterday, but she said if one of the big ones come in this morning, she's going to bust it, so y'all stick with us, it's about 30 minutes before daylight, let's see if we can get a big and down for Caleb.
Smokey Muggy. You smoked him. I mean, <laughs> you put it. <laughs> I'm about to freeze it. My hands are sweating, but they're cold. Boom, baby. He just fell. He just fell. <laughs> yes. I bet that deer will score about 110, right? He's pretty good. What do you got to say to the camera, baby? Be patient. I dare that you want. Hey, it's over. That was right in a pump station. Wow, what a shot. Wow. We couldn't do an update. We had deer all around us all morning. It's over. It is over. Whew, thank you, Lord. Wait to freeze. <laughs> I mean, that's probably my, about my only option today because I know that other buck wasn't going to come in. It's early, but she told me last night, she said, if this buck comes in, I'm shooting. Man, he's been here for, I don't know, he's been here for... In came in yesterday. So yeah, he came in yesterday. She passed him. He's been in here, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Yeah, that, that I couldn't get a shot on him for a while because that doe was there. But... It's over. I mean, it looked like it was right in the bread basket, but I'm going to go back and review the footage. Hey, y'all stick with us right here on Brothers of Woods Outdoors. Let's see if we can recover this buck. You got anything to say, Kayla? No. <laughs> was that exciting? <laughs> hey, big buck down, hopefully. Y'all stick with us. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Are you a landowner that's ever thought about selling? Give me a call today and let me and my team show you why selling at auction is your best choice. With competitive bidding, your property will bring top dollar the day you choose to sell. At Joe R. Powell Auctions, we've seen record numbers of online bidders from all 50 states. Don't limit yourself to just the local market. Auction will give you the best results on your farm or any type of real estate you own. Call 855-JOE-WILL or visit JoeRPowellAuctions.com. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Call State Farm agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated and these fine sponsors. guys here we are Kalen just shot her buck uh, just a beautiful he ain't got no brow times but man he's just a beautiful big old six point uh, man the shot looked good on film we've already got blood right here so we've given him a little bit of time so y'all stick with us right here and let's see if we can find Kalen's deer we're gonna get on the blood trail we're gonna go down here and hopefully with a good Lord's will here we find a big buck at the end of this blood trail y'all stick with us Man, that deer is spray. Oh, right here, buddy. Look here. Let's squirt and put my fire. Look here. Right here. Yeah. Oh, first arrow, Dad. 
She, man, she got penetration pump up to the flesh and stuff. <coughs> Is that really All right, guys, we followed this blood down in here. Uh, there's some antlers at the end of this one right here. So we ain't got down to him yet, but we're gonna let Kylan get after him. Here's Era. Pick him up, I'll see. Show him off for the camera. Man, that's a better buck than what I thought he was. Man, what a body. He's fat, I can't eat it. I can't get him up, he's too big. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. This is old no brows. We finally got him drug up out here. Man, it's getting hot. I had to shed a bunch of clothes. But Kaylin absolutely smoked this buck this morning. She actually passed this buck yesterday. And she told me last night, she said, Dad, if he comes back in this morning, I'm gonna smoke him. And that's just exactly what she did. Uh, it started out awesome, action packed this morning. First thing, we had a seven point come in right after daylight. Then we had a button buck come in about 8.30 and then here, here comes old no brows up the bank right after the button buck come in. And uh, he come up there and she had to wait patiently probably 10 to 15 minutes to get a shot because the other buck was in front of her. But we thank God for this day of life. We thank you for all of his blessings. We thank you for letting us hunt these magnificent creatures. And we thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Man, Kaylin killed a great buck with her compound. Team Stacy has been on fire this season. Boy, they have had a great season, Jim. Hey, up next week, we got three exciting hunts lined up for you. First off, we're gonna go out with pro staffer Gary Stevens to Ritchie County. He's gonna get a great buck with his bow. Then we got two rifle hunts coming up for you. It's opening day. We're gonna head out with junior pro staffer Aiden Compton first, and then we're gonna head out with pro staffer Jimmy Riffle. Hey, in the meantime, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carver TV channels, where you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.